beautiful people. How y'all doing? Hopefully you guys are doing wonderful. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle. We're going to talk skincare today. You guys know I love skincare. And over the years, I've learned more about skincare products, what they do for my face, oils, serums, just what my face needs. And in doing that, I've sort of dived into the eco beauty space as well. So I have a lot of like eco-friendly, you know, like the completely plant-derived products. And then I have some of like the more popular stuff in the market. Because I am a skincare connoisseur, I have a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot. And I don't wanna like make this a two hour video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna only talk about the things I am literally using right now. And then what I'll probably do eventually is do like a series and I'll focus like on serums, oils, cleansers, and then that way I can get more in depth. So just know that in this video, I'm just gonna be getting straight to the point as to why I choose to use this particular product. Also with certain products, I have a demo of it so you can see like exactly how I use it, but not with everything. So if there's something you see and you really want to know like what it looks like, how it works, how I use it, just tell me, leave a comment and I'll do a video on it. Now, with that being said, I want to talk about my skin, just as far as like the condition it's in and how I sort of use skincare. I have oily combination skin. I do get oily mostly on my T-zone. I have struggled with oiliness for a very long time, but as I got older, I wasn't getting as oily, but I did notice that my pores were kind of getting bigger. And also I do have hyperpigmentation on my face, so I have areas where my face is just like completely discolored, but honestly, as you will see, it has been going away. My skin has been clearing up, so I'm very happy with what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, I use cleansing oils. I do wear makeup, as you can see. I don't wear this much makeup on a daily basis, only on the weekends, but I do wear foundation every day. Plus, I have sunscreen and other stuff, so I do need to cleanse my face with a cleansing oil that can really help break down the dirt and the makeup and the grime and just all of the free radicals in the air and get that off my face before going into everything else. Now, another thing is I'm also extremely lazy when it comes to taking off my makeup. At this point, I have zero excuses because I have made my process so simple. I use a cleansing oil on dry skin. There are three cleansing oils right now that I really rotate between and that's because as you're gonna hear a lot in this video I really do check in with my skin so my skincare regimen is never set in stone it's always one of those things where I think about what I've done that day I look in the mirror I feel like my face and see what does my skin need is it dry does it feel congested am I struggling with pores am I breaking out what does my skin actually need and from there I look at my products and I make my own cocktail for that day so the three cleansing oils that I'm currently rotating between are the pre cleanse from Dermalogica the nourishing cleanser from Jane Schreiber and I'm gonna pretend I have it in my hand <laughs> the Jordan Samuel skin after balm cleanser let's start with this from Dermalogica the pre cleanse is so good I have a video dedicated just to this line and I'll link it so you can watch it in more depth. The reason I like this is because it's a cleansing oil and it has a pump so you're not having to scoop anything and get your hands all messy. I literally just need one pump. I pump it into my hand and it gives me a pretty good amount of oil. I disperse it onto my face and I can really easily move the oil around. There are some oil cleansers that are just really tough to like get through but this one is the easiest in my opinion. Like if I really honestly had to only use one cleansing oil, I would buy this one. It has a really nice herbaceous scent and honestly you don't need to second cleanse with this if you don't wanna. Okay, the Jane Shriver Nourishing Cleanser. I got this in a Beauty Heroes box and since we're talking about skincare, let's go ahead and address Beauty Heroes. Beauty Heroes is a subscription service box for eco-friendly skincare. So if you're someone like me and you like that sort of thing, you like the natural skincare, natural scents, specifically with high-end luxury brands, this service is awesome. I have found the best skincare products by using this service. And the value for the products that you're getting doesn't even compare to how much you're paying for it. So I love this service. It's the only subscription service I've ever used and I really recommend it if you're into skincare. I will put my referral link below if you would like to check it out. So this is a product I got from that service. It's a balm cleanser and it's the most luxurious balm cleanser I have ever used. It smells like lemongrass and like a little bit of pink pepper. You just take a little bit into your hand, you put it all over your face and as it's on your face, it truly feels like 
beyond luxurious and you just rub it in and I'll take my microfiber towel and just wipe it off and we're gonna talk microfiber towels in a second but this particular brand Jane Schreibner she has her own special microfiber cleansing gloss that are like mitts and you stick your hand through it and you use this to take off the cleanser it is fantastic this is like God sent for me and this is sort of what introduced me into using microfiber towels to remove my makeup and for skincare in general it has made my life so much easier I no longer use like the wet wipe makeup removers because they have so much stuff in those things that they break me out when you run this under hot water they get so nice and warm and just putting that on my face just relaxes me so much I have three different types. I have the one from her, Jane Schreibner, and I also have some from Jordan Samuel's Skin, which I will talk about in a second, but his are great. They come in a pack of seven, and then Amazon also sells them for, I think, a pack of five or seven. From the ones I own, in my opinion, that's exactly the order of quality that you're probably going to be getting is Jane, Jordan, Amazon. So there you go. Now let's get back to the cleansers. So I use this normally when I want to feel fancy and luxurious. It's not something I use every day, but it's fantastic and I love it. And the third one is from Jordan Samuel Skin. I love this cleanser as well. This one truly can be used as a cleanser on its own and as a makeup remover. It is wonderful. It's very good if you have sensitive skin or if you have dry skin, wonderful. It's scentless, it's simple, it gets the job done fantastic product definitely definitely recommend it and last but not least when I'm at my boyfriend's house I don't like leaving like my good good stuff there because I want to use it here and I don't want to buy multiples so when I'm there I use my Clinique and it's the take the day off and it's a bomb cleanser as well I think this jar was about ten dollars it's a very good cleanser it's not green beauty it's not eco-friendly it's Clinique but it is effective and I really really like it Now for cleansers, you guys, with the amount of laziness that's been going on with me since I've really discovered how to use microfiber towels, to be honest, I don't always do a double cleanse. I feel like the three products I just showed you are so effective in taking everything off my face, I really just don't see the need of washing it again. But if I go to the gym or in the mornings if I'm not using one of those, I will occasionally use a gel cleanser. I also like gel cleansers because they're best for oily combination skin. And then also a lot of brands have like the powder exfoliants that you can just pour into something. I like pouring them into gel cleansers the most. Now I have one gel cleanser that I found just kind of like accidentally ran into the product <laughs> like you just accidentally run into products when you're a shopaholic but you're supposed to be a minimalist. I accidentally ran into the product and I loved it. I don't even know how to pronounce the name so I'm just gonna show it to you guys. It is a fantastic, my favorite honestly. I don't know a lot about this brand but I do know that everything I've purchased from this brand I've really enjoyed including the candles. If you've used the brand let me know what you think of it. But that cleanser is holy grail for me. Only and other gel cleanser I own is from Aesop and it's the Into Minds facial cleanser. It is a good cleanser. My only issue is that it doesn't lather that much and I do like to have a lather. And it is mild, but it does burn my eyes a little bit. But it's very good because it has salicylic acid in it, so if you have any sort of acne, it's really good for that. When it comes to exfoliants, I'm really back and forth. There are times in my life where I really want like the big aggressive exfoliating beads to get in there and just decongest my skin. And then there's times where I'm like, no, I don't want to rip my skin off. I'm looking for something more chemical. So there's only one physical exfoliant that I'm currently using and I love it. It's from the brand De Alchemy and it's their natural microdermabrasion peel. It's 100% vegan and it helps to unblock pores, remove any dead skin cells, and it helps your other creams and oils absorb into your face better. And I love it so far. Now, this is a really cool product because you can use it just as like a rinse off or as a mask. I use it probably two times a week and typically what's like my ideal skin day is for me to use an exfoliant and then put a mask on after and then just kind of walk around with glowing skin or do my makeup and have like flawless looking makeup. This is great for that. It takes everything off. My face feels very cool and decongested. It has a really nice scent to it. It's thick, which I like. I really love thick products and you should definitely try it if you're looking for an exfoliant paste. 
let's talk masks. My favorite. I love masks. I'm rotating between three masks right now, you guys. What I do is I check in with my skin and I see what I need. And I have a mask specifically for radiance. Like if I just want my skin to look really clear, bright, and just like happy skin. I have one that I use for moisture. If my face is feeling dry and I just want the plumpness and just that like beautiful silky canvas and then I have one for like tightening pores extracting dirt and oils and giving my face that smooth canvas so if I'm having one of those days where I want to do like a personal spa day at home or if I want to wear makeup that evening for something really special I will use this mask it's the superfood mask from in light beauty I got this in a beauty heroes box once more and this was my favorite box because both products that came in this box I am sharing with you because I've been using it non-stop. This is a luxury green beauty brand, I believe out of London, and it is literally almost gone, you guys. Oh, and you see how beautiful this mask is? It is just, the color is breathtaking all by itself. It has a very earthy, green, sort of like spicy smell almost. I feature this mask in my winter skincare masks video, which didn't get that many views because I think the lighting was kind of weird. But if you want to see it, I will link it below where I showed you how I use the mask and I go in a little bit more detail. I'll also link below a video where I talk about the brand more and a little bit more about the ingredients in this. But this is hands down, holy grail for me. As far as mask goes, this mask is everything my skin looks the best after I use this mask and you should definitely check it out if you've never heard of the line it is worth exploring this is a newer mask for me this is from Ole Henriksen in their balance line and it's called the cold plunge pore mask with clay and snow lotus extract this mask is fantastic for helping you with any pores that are enlarged. If you're looking for something to just tighten them up a bit, make sure that your face is free from any dirt or impurities, this is my favorite mask for that. It smells so good, like winter fresh gum. The color is so dope too. Like I like when masks have like different colors. And this one's like a beautiful turquoise color. I love wearing it. It doesn't get hard when it's on your face, but you can feel that it's getting like cool. And I love the rinse off or the wipe off. Sometimes I use a cloth. You can also kind of lather it off if you want. It doesn't get hard, which like I said, I like that about this mask. Once the mask is off, my face feels cool for like another 30 minutes. It's such a nice feeling. My skin feels very renewed. And I think makeup applies very beautifully over this mask. I love it. I would definitely, definitely recommend this if you're looking for a good mask for pores specifically. And the last mask I want to share is from Orgade. And I purchased this off of the Beauty Heroes website. It wasn't sent like in a Beauty Heroes box. I purchased this outside of that because the cool thing is if there is a company that is a green beauty company and you're a Beauty Heroes member, you get 15% off of all products, which is huge. Now these are sheet masks. I know not everyone's into that. It's not for everybody, but to be honest, it's like the easiest way to do a mask. You don't have to get messy. You have them laying out. You just pick up one once a week, throw it on your face, and like, I don't know, watch YouTube or something, pat in the excess, and you're done. This is a nourishing mask, so it's really good if you have dry skin or if your skin just feels like it needs a boost of radiance and moisture. It's a Greek yogurt mask, so just think Greek yogurt, cold yogurt on your face. Just think of the nourishing feeling that would be like. It has a natural ecoderma sheet with advanced technology that's developed to help your skin breathe with comfortable contact on your skin. It has water in it, aloe vera juice in it, it has glycerin in it, it has lavender, Greek yogurt powder, chamomile, rose hip, thyme, and green tea. I love this mask. It's definitely worth checking out. And if you've used it, let me know what you think. You know you're into skincare when you use a toner. Toners to me are great for just being able to take off whatever didn't come off with your cleanser. Especially if you're like me and you do like one cleanse. A lot of times if you wore makeup, you didn't get everything off. 
So it's good for that. It's good for just rebalancing your skin and just rebalancing your pH. It's also really nice in being able to just help you with the absorption of whatever oils or serums you're gonna use after. Just making sure that it's really sinking into your skin. Again, it's not a necessary product. You don't need to have a toner, but if you do have one, it does do something for your skin. So again, I check in with my skin, figure out what it needs, and then I choose what I'm gonna use. But this is what I'm rotating between. This one's from Fresh, and it's their Rose Hydration Toner. I have the mini size, I didn't need the big bottle. Um, like I said, because I rotate, I didn't wanna buy the big one. As you can see, it has actual fresh rose petals in it. Lovely, lovely, lovely toner. I don't think it's an acid toner, but you do get like a stinging, <laughs> or you feel a sensation when you use it for sure. It does have a rose fruit extract, so that could be the feeling, I don't know, but it's a great toner. I've used it over and over in the past, but I do feel like it does help the skin and just making sure that it removes everything and it really do feel like it balances it. When I have a breakout or when I'm feeling like my skin is really like <laughs> about to break out on me, I'll use this toner from The Ordinary. It's glycolic acid, so it is a full-blown acid toning solution, but it's a very inexpensive and I use it every now and then. I won't even use it every week if I don't need to, but if I feel like my face needs some resurfacing, if I feel like I'm getting a lot of texture and I just need like that fresh smooth canvas, I'll use it very effective because it's an acid it is gonna burn especially if you're not used to acids just be mindful with that but i love the toner does good for my skin definitely check it out this last toner you guys is not something that i went out and purchased i got it in a beauty heroes box and <laughs> the only problem with the beauty heroes box is that you find these amazing products you're getting at a super discount but then you fall in love with them and you're like ah oh, can't afford it though. This product is from Ayuna, which is a green beauty luxury brand, and it is a toning solution called The Facial Low. They have low and high, this is low. This is one of those toner lotion-y like products, so you take it and you pour it into your hand and then you just kind of put it all into your face. Sometimes after I do this, I'll like pat it in, and it is an acid-based toner, so you are getting a chemical exfoliation. The brand says that it's a powder in lotion concentrate that visually transforms the skin by improving both its feel and appearance. And if you use it daily, it aids in balancing the skin's microbiotics, which is what evens out your complexion and promotes the natural glow that maintains your skin health. And so far, so great. Loving it. Like, this stuff is so good. I've noticed a huge difference in my face. Since I've been using the Ayuna products, along with just kind of like the stuff I'm showing you right now, just a huge difference in the way my skin is responding to products, the way it's absorbing products. These things are making it easier. So this is wonderful. I use it morning and night, and it smells, oh such a beautiful, clean, luxurious scent. If you've used anything from Ayuna, please let me know what you liked. As you guys know, I like face mists. They can be used instead of a toner because there are some toners that are like toners slash face mists. And even this one might fall into that category. But in my opinion, these are definitely not like mandatory needed products. This was in a Beauty Heroes box as well and sadly the product looks like this now. The writing on the bottle went away which is unfortunate because it is a luxury product and shouldn't really be happening with something of its value. I can barely remember the name to even tell you which is not good. It's just not good marketing. I mean, I want to be able to look at my product, remember what it's called, you know, recognize it if it's out. But with that aside, I have been using this daily, day and night, as a face mist. It smells really good and clean. It doesn't wet my face, but it does kind of give it a little bit of moisture. If I wanted my serums or my oils to penetrate better, this is really good for that. Or even if it was summertime and you just want something to declog your face, or if like, let's say you're in an airplane, and this is supposed to be a toning elixir that's supposed to kind of just balance your skin and give you a nice refreshing mist. Smells so good. It smells like rose petals. I believe the name of the brand is Blue Alchemy. It's a nice product. It's not mind-blowing, but it's what I'm using at the moment, and it, it is a good product. I 
love the feeling of putting oils onto my face after it's nice and cleansed. My face is just like open and ready. And I truly love what oils do for my face. I, over the years, I've seen a huge difference in my complexion, sunspots, just little things in my face I didn't even really notice were there until they were gone. And my face just looks and feels so much different. So I'm using two oils right now, like I would say consistently. I do have more, I have about four or five oils that I rotate between. In the evenings, I'm only either using oil or a serum, but I'm not using both. I'm not like doing a bunch of layering. The only thing I'll layer with is a moisturizer and another cream that I'm gonna show you. Although I do notice that with one of them, my makeup looks flawless if I use it. I still don't wanna risk being oily during the day. This oil I talked about recently, again, in that same video about my current favorites. It's the Active Botanical Serum from Vintner's Daughter. Because you guys asked for it, I'll do a separate video talking about this oil, but this oil has been phenomenal for me. It has 25, I think, 25 or 28, like different botanically infused oils in here. The highest, highest quality. And since I've been using it, my skin has just transformed. I've noticed a huge difference with texture. I've noticed a difference with just like the brightness and luminosity and plumpness of my face. And most importantly, I've noticed a huge difference in how other products absorb into my skin. Like my makeup especially. Like my makeup looks so different since I've been using this daily. So I love this oil, love it. I'll be doing a separate video just on this. I'm gonna be speeding through you guys because this video is getting too long. The only other oil I use is in a bomb form and it's from In Light Beauty again. And it's the line softener. All oh, this stuff is, when I smelled this for the first time, I was like, because this is like exactly what I wanna smell like. I'm really into fragrance, you guys, especially like the earthy fragrances. Like I live, for a good smell. I love the way this smells, but it actually is a really high performing oil and you don't need a lot. You just need a little bit and just kind of rub it all over your face. I notice every time I use this in the morning, when I wake up, my face looks completely clear, like absolute radiance. Beautiful, beautiful product. I've used it on my mom who has more mature skin and it does wonders for any like dryness underneath her eyes. Her face looks super, super healthy the next morning whenever she uses this. This is really good for under the eyes if you just want something for that area, hydrating it a bit. It is not super thick. It's in a balm form, so if you like that a little bit more, it does come with a little spatula. You can use it in a multitude of ways. It's a really beautiful treat. As far as serums go, I have two. This one, this one is from Pharmacy. It's a powerful multi-correctional night serum that resurfaces the skin for a smoother, youthful looking, glowing complexion. And it has a blend of 14% AHA, BHA acid. And that's what's exfoliating your skin. The first couple times I used this, I burned so bad. And I ended up like, having a breakout and I thought, oh no, mm -mm, nope, not using this. Then what I did was I used an oil first and then put it over it and just kind of like slowly allowed my skin to adapt to it. And since then, I'm now able to use it. It's so good. It really does give you like that bright glowing skin. It's still very strong, so I only use it once per week, but if I'm feeling like my skin is congested and it just needs like a clean makeover, this is what I'll use and I love it. Vitamin C is the only serum I'm really interested in using and I honestly still haven't like found the one, the one that's gonna change it all. I haven't found the one yet, but I'm still exploring and I recently started using this one that I've been liking, so fingers crossed. This one's from Glow Recipe. They sent it to me a while ago to test out with some other stuff, so I think what I'll do is just do like a Glow Recipe dedicated video for you guys. For this product, aside from the cuteness of the bottle, because it's just too cute, and aside from the fact that it actually smells literally like pineapple, so it's beautiful for the summertime. This is a vitamin C serum, and vitamin C is good for just helping to brighten your skin, being able to lighten up any dark spots on your skin. It is a good daytime serum. I can use it in the daytime. In the morning, my skin does look brighter. I love the smell of it because it's just so fresh, bright, and happy, and yeah, I'll be back with a more in-depth review of it, but so far, it's good. Moisturizer, I use this one and it's done. Again, from Glow Recipe, they sent this to me a while ago. I wasn't quite sure about it. 
I was looking for something that was lightweight and I thought this was a little too lightweight, but it's actually perfect. Because I have oily skin, I don't want a heavy moisturizer, especially in the spring and summer. If I feel like my face needs like a little bit more hydration, even after I use an oil, I'll layer this over it and it's not too much. My face doesn't feel clogged. It doesn't get you greasy because it's so thin. It's a great product. I'm definitely gonna repurchase it. There is one product that is totally, again, like an unnecessary product. I got it in a Beauty Heroes box, but I really fell in love with it. And I don't even know if there are any products out there like this, but it's from Jane Stribner again, and it's called an over oil cream. You can see here, it's like an orangish color, but you're supposed to use it on top of an oil. There's been so many times where I have oil on my face and I'm like, man, like, I just want something to just nourish my skin. Like, I just want to help it to feel cool, calm, and relaxed, and this is like exactly what I've been looking for all these years. Didn't even know something like this existed. It's made to be able to sit on top of an oil and still like seal in the moisture and penetrate your skin. It's wonderful. If I use that line softener I just told you about and I put this over it in the morning, my face is juicier than juicy. As far as eye creams go, you guys know I've been begging y'all for God knows how long to tell me, tell me about an eye cream that you love and I haven't really gotten very much feedback on that and I think it's because people really don't have eye creams they're crazy about to be honest with you. The only reason I use night cream at this point is for deep puffiness. I am 30 plus. I'm 30 plus, so I need an eye cream. I need to focus on this part of my face because I wear makeup, I do a lot of pulling and tugging, I put a lot of like concealers and stuff here, and when your under eye starts getting too dry or you start pulling and tugging too much, it causes wrinkles, it causes problems. So right now, I started using this eye cream that I've been really, really liking. Like, I think, I think we found it. It's from the brand The Inky List, and it's a caffeine serum. So caffeine is really good for deep puffiness. So it's a serum and I use it both morning and night. I just kind of rub it in underneath my eyes and then I go back and I pat it in and I do see that it helps when I put my concealer on, it makes it look more smooth, more rich, and it does help address my puffiness. If you watch some of my past videos and you look underneath my eyes, a lot of times they're puffy. I don't sleep as much as I should being the number one reason and this has helped me so much. And I feel like I've been talking forever. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up. Lip Balm, Laneige Lip Mask. You guys probably know about this. It's a very popular product. It's fantastic. It's super thick. My lips feel super juicy and moisturized and I use it like a lip balm. Calling it a lip mask is being super dramatic. It is just like a super thick lip balm. For exfoliating my lips, I use this exfoliant from Bliss and it's a really basic lip scrub hands down my favorite so far that i've used i love it. it does a great job my lips feel very juicy afterwards the granules work they're not too small it's a good product and the last but not least certainly not least is sunscreen i'm not a sunscreen connoisseur i haven't tried out a bunch of stuff in the past i kind of just you know trial and error but this one came in a beauty heroes box and it was literally god meant perfect timing it's from the brand Ayuna again that super luxurious green beauty brand that you know I can barely afford and it's called Velo now this is supposed to be like a six in one six in one super stratum protection I will be doing like a six month beauty hero reflection video where I talk about all of the boxes from January till June and I'll go into more detail about this this is a really luxurious sunscreen. Like this is not your everyday thing, girl. This costs an arm and a leg for a reason. There are so many things that this is supercharged with. It's doing a ton of things for your skin. It does leave a bit of a white cast on my skin because I don't think it was created with someone like me in mind necessarily. However, it does sink in to be okay. I haven't had any issues with it under makeup. It is beautiful. Like. Beautiful. It is a beautiful product. I feel like it applies like silk onto my skin. It's done a great job as far as like not messing with my makeup. No matter what foundation I've used, it's got along very well with it. I don't get greasy or anything like that during the day. I feel like it literally sticks onto my skin and I love it. It's a great sunscreen. I would have never come across this, so thank you Beauty Heroes. I love it. It's a very small bottle, so I'm trying to use it very sparingly, but if you've used it, let me know what you think 
and let me know what is your favorite sunscreen and why if you have one. all right my loves we're done we did it so that is my current skincare routine you guys again not married to anything I check in with my skin I see what I need and then I just find what works for that so I recommend you do the same if you have any questions about anything please leave a comment below and I will definitely get back to you I appreciate all the love I appreciate your support for those of you guys who do comment who do watch my videos I just want to say thank you like I really appreciate you guys I love talking to you guys this is a hobby for me but you guys make it so special and I appreciate you so big kisses to you all and I will see you guys in the next video peace love and light